Hey, it's Angry Weeb, and I'm back. And, and today, we're going to talk about the top five fallacies Goku Tards and amateur power skills use to scale Goku to multiversal. Now, I'm, I'm going to start with um, the first thing that, that most Goku Tards use to, to basically show that Goku's power is beyond the multiverse is when he shook the macrocosm of universe 7 when he clashed with Beerus and you saw the shock waves go through the different dimensions what they seem to gloss over though and completely ignore is the fact that a macrocosm by definition is only a universe so Goku only shook a universe he did not shake the multiverse the multiverse composes of 12 other universes that are stated in the Dragon Ball verse. He had no effect on these other universes. He only affected Universe 7, and it was a clash between him and another universe, known universe buster, named Beerus the God of Destruction. This is probably the most ignorant argument most Goku Tars and amateur power scalers use to scale Goku so much that they forget to read and understand the words and verbiage that is used when properly scaling this guy some of them just don't care goku is tiered at whatever their imagination it, it, you know leads them to um a macrocosm is a universe with multiple dimensions but it's still just a universe it's just a, a larger universe we don't even know if our universe is isn't a macrocosm for all we know there is different dimensions and we just can't see them or access them any eight-year-old can read this and understand that a macrocosm equals a universe as you can see in this definition uh, another fallacy that Goku Tars love to use is the belief that any anime holds more weight than original manga or data books this one is not as ignorant as Goku Tards uh, as the first one. You know, this one is not as ignorant as, as the, the first fallacy Goku Tards use. You know, just blatantly denying the definition of a macrocosm, that, that's like the worst one. But this one has more to do with um, kind of preference over what should be truly used as a primary source. Most Goku Tards and amateur power scalers only watch anime or believe that anime is the ultimate source of material when power scaling. First, anyone with a brain and has some type of education know in any field of study, primary sources always trump secondary sources. Now you ask, what is a primary source? A primary source is a first-hand experience. For example, the soldier that actually fought in the war who wrote a letter as opposed to the historian who's only talking about the war. As you can see, the, 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 the soldier who wrote the letter and fought the war, he is a primary source. He is first-hand experience. He was there. He fought the war. In power scaling, this is no different. The manga and data books are the primary sources. They are derived straight from the writer, straight from the mind of the writer onto paper. The anime is a secondary source because it touches more hands than the manga and is not always completely from the writer. The manga was first and the anime is an adaptation. The data books are the laws of the verse the writer has placed upon its characters and their worlds. The manga and data books go hand in hand. Only an amateur power scale only an amateur power skiller can't figure out how to decipher between a primary source and a secondary source. And a lot of Goku Tars just ignore this. I, I just don't, I don't understand it. You know, but again, this is one of those fallacies they use to sell Goku to multiversal. The third fallacy these Goku Tars use is using fourth and third dimensions to scale characters is dumb and used by Goku Tards and amateur power scalers to scale Goku to insane levels. I want to say what is the problem with scaling characters in 4D, 5D, 6D, and 3D. 
The problem with this is humans can only see in three dimension. We can't see into the fourth dimension. Or even interact with it for that for that matter. You know, tearing characters this way is complete arbitrary and baseless. We we've never experienced the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension. I don't I don't understand you you know, when you're tearing characters on island level, city level, we, we have an idea. This is not an arbitrary idea. These are concrete ideas. No, you probably can't touch the city, but you can see the city. Like that, you know, you can't see the fourth dimension. You don't know what a fifth dimension being is. You've never seen a, a fifth dimension. No power scalar human that m that matter has ever seen or experienced a fifth dimension construct. So why would you tear a character based off of that? The versus battle wiki tier data is much better than that. At the very least, they're not tearing characters off of a 5D and 4D and third dimensional and shit that we've never even seen. Normally a lot of Goku Tars use this method of tearing Goku 5D, 6D, 7D to inflate Goku's presence within the Dragon Ball verse. But let's not forget Goku is still a humanoid. Saiyans are humanoids. They are not immortal beings. Number four, Goku Tars love to use speech out of context. For example, in this argument this guy referenced Whis, and he stated, "We said Beerus lost to Belmont, and that Belmont was stronger than Beerus, but weaker than Jiren. And since Goku fought Jiren in Ultra Instinct, then Goku must be stronger than Beerus." Well, this is a very misleading statement by this Goku Tar because Whis is referring when we says Bel Belmont beat Beerus. You have to read further and you realize that at Beerus is saying that Weiss is saying Belmont beat Beerus in the arm wrestling match. Beerus made a comment saying that it was only an arm wrestling match. He he's never Belmont has never beaten Beerus in an actual fight. And it's never been proven that Belmont can beat Beerus in the actual fight. In fact, in the manga, Belmont got whooped by all the other gods in the actual fight. So, you see how the Goku Tars was sending you misleading statements. Belmont is stronger than Beerus. It was an arm wrestling contest, my guy. I don't even understand why you're, why you're bringing that up. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. Beerus and Belmont has never actually fought. My point in showing you guys this is Goku Tars will use feats completely out of context to tear Goku higher than what he truly is. Another feat out of context is the battle between Beerus. Many power cells bring up that battle that shook the universe seven between Goku and Beerus. And this feat is always placed out of context. First, at the time of this feat, Beerus could have destroyed universe seven himself without Goku's power. Beerus was a universe buster long before his battle with Goku. Goku Tars would deny that Goku at this time was not a universe you know, Goku Tars would deny it that Goku at this time was not a universe buster. In fact, Beerus barely retained any damage from his fight with Goku. And while Goku was powerful, he never pushed Beerus to his limits. You have to understand that this clash that shook the macrocosm of Universe 7, Goku Tars do not use this feat within context and are unwilling or just unknowledgeable enough to read the feats within context. And number five, last but not least, this is the fifth fallacy that Goku Tards use. Many Goku Tards would deny that every universe follows the same schematics and that if that is true, then the multiverse includes the dimensions of the world beyond in every universe as it pertains to universe seven. It can be deduced that each of the 11 universes all follow the same schematic and that if that is true each universe has a dimension called the world beyond this means that every every universe is still considered a universe but the average size of every verse universe in Dragon Ball is probably larger than one universe sure but they are still considered a universe within the Dragon Ball verse even if each of these universes has a world beyond 
Because you have to remember, all of these universes have to have a hell. So to consider Goku's feat of shaking the the the, the macrocosm or the multiple dimensions in, within Universe Seven only constitutes a universal feat because all of the other universes have a world beyond. Because the writer has already shown that each universe has multi dimensions in them, so it doesn't matter how large any of these dimensions are because they are still considered one universe and all have a world beyond. There are not 24 universes in the Dragon Ball multiverse. There are only 12. There's nothing in the Dyson Shoe that specifically says that the world beyond is of the same size as the universes. And even if they were, it wouldn't matter because the writer sets the parameters for what or how big a universe is. For the size of having multi for the size of having multi dimensions you know as far as the universe is having multiple dimensions that just means the universes are bigger than our own Goku's feat of shaking universe 7 with Beerus is only a universal feat and it was not done by his power alone you know when we talk about these Goku tarts they will say anything anything to scale this guy I don't understand it to scale this guy to a multiversal level when he's not a multiversal threat um, I, I, you know, I, I'll be coming out with another video, giving more information, giving more facts as to why. And these are canon, by the way. These are from the manga. These are from the data books. These are canon. This is not that bullshit that people keep commenting in my comment section. You know, uh, scans from Korra. Goku talks will use scans from Korra. They won't actually go to the Dyson shoe. They'll they'll misrepresent feats, say feats out of context. So please hit that subscribe and like button and tell me what you think. No, I'm not looking for someone to agree with me. You don't have to agree with me for your comment, for me to receive anything from your comment, but you do have to present your argument with some chemical backing. If I don't see that, I'm just gonna think you're just full of shit. So please hit the subscribe and like button. And this is Angry Weave and I'm out.